This is Block Mr. Fifth, 2021. Today we're going to the Bluff Oyster Festival and I must stress to you, it's very cold down here. When we get into the festival, take a look at the clothing people are wearing. Oh, it's very, very cold. And over the course of this video, I'm going to be impressing upon you the financial cost that you will incur if you decide to travel to this event. Now, if you're a local, if you live in Invercargill or Bluff, uh, the cost is probably going to be reasonable. You know, with not having to do driving and flights and uh, accommodation and things like that. But then we've also got the costs involved inside the event itself. The costs of the food. Oh, the queue is in front of us. Look at the queue. <laughs> We're in the toilet queue right now. <laughs> After we go to the toilet, we're going to go and go to a coffee shop or something. The, ch the queue is gigantic. There's no point just standing here waiting for an hour. So we're just in the coffee shop right now. And um, <laughs> I'm going to record today on uh, the phone to uh, help me uh, <laughs> record all of the costs involved. Coffee just arrived. And the line is moving. Now, the lines. As soon as you start lining up for something, there's going to be big, long lines. I knew there was going to be lines. I wasn't quite prepared for just how bad they would be. What they really needed is those sort of zigzag things that you have at airports. You know, when you go to an airport luggage check-in and they've got those things on the floor which sort of control the queue to sort of make you go zigzag and left and right and forward and back and stuff. They needed those here. Cues. Cues. Because the lines were so long that you had a line coming from one way and a line coming from the other way and then the two lines would run into each other and go off on like a 45 degree angle. And then you, you had to, you were constantly pushing your way past people who were already standing in the queue to actually try to get where you wanted to go. Very frustrating. As soon as we walked in, the first place that I wanted to go was the merchandise booth. Because, you know, when you go into these events, often their merchandise is limited. They want to sell out. They don't want to hold it. You know, they, they want it to sell. So I go there and you have a look and it's, oh, really? Oh. You know, the t-shirts the and the hoodies were a bit lightweight and not the greatest quality, so I just thought, mm, you know, I'm not going to get that. Hunters. Yeah. Gosh. Spiky gold hunters. Yes. They are here. There's Dwayne there. After checking out the merchandise, the first place that I wanted to go to was the Sea Urchin booth because I wanted to see if the spiky gold hunters were there. And oh my god, you know, just the fanboy in me was like so happy because there they are. They're right there. There's Storm and there's Dwayne, the spiky gold hunters in the flesh. That's Dwayne and Storm, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> I've watched Spiky Gold Hunters three times over. I'm, oh, waiting, right. for, nice, I'm waiting for season two and I emailed TVNZ and they said they haven't started it yet. Oh, they're, they're talking about it. Is it ever going to happen? Well, it's, it's, in, it's in the works, man, but. Hey, how you doing? Hey, you're a great person. Uh, you're going to Yeah, Alright. It's difficult to. Get it out. Mm. 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 
definitely very salty flavour. It's the first time I've ever had kinna. <laughs> it's quite bitter actually. They don't give you any lemon or soy sauce and things? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you design, you're supposed to just eat it raw. You only eat this part, not the black one. This is not the best ever. The color is a little bit dark. It's very difficult. It's okay. <laughs> um, not so far is not the best, but I believe that normally we get the golden color. I just want a little bit dark. I don't know why. Yeah. Maybe just a different. Um, you know, area so you get different colors. But normally, when you get it from the restaurant or a supermarket, you get the golden brown color. Wow, this is pretty surreal, eh? Being here at the Love Oyster Festival, being served, seared from the, the spiky gold hunters themselves. <laughs> Butterfish. Yeah. So there's no gill nets, so there's no bycatch. I don't have a spear gun yet, but I will one day. But oh, yeah. you can't catch them on a rod and reel, can you? Because they're no, a they vegetarian. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. So they don't even net them or the spear them. Yeah. We went over to the corner to where the Barnes raw oysters were. And actually the lines were, were not too bad, there wasn't really lines at all, you could sort of go up. Um, and I think the reason that there weren't lines was because it was uh, raw, all raw oysters, uh, which was really good. Not too much Q. Can you just get it? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Raw oysters. <laughs> mm. From Barnes Wild Black Oysters. They got a bunch of guys there and they're pulling them out of the shell. And then you got other guys putting them in the bottles. And then you got other guys put them on a the plate. Mm. And it's with lemon juice and vinegar. Oh, that's great. Next, we got into quite a long line to get uh, a power pie and a seafood platter. Oh my god, the, the price. Oh, I got the power pie. Coco has the seafood platter. Uh, the seafood platter. $40 for a small tray of some pieces of fish and like a half a crayfish. Oh, horrendous, horrendous price. And the power pie, oh, that's not cheap either. But i tell you what, that power pie was good. Power pie is pretty good, interesting flavor. We're just standing up in the middle of the tables here because like, no one ever leaves. No one ever leaves. <laughs> With our power pie and seafood platter in hand, we had to try and traverse through all of the seating area to try to get a seat. And do you think we could get a seat? Fuck no. No, you, you ain't getting a seat. And it's like, we're just standing there and looking around and looking around and just gave up and just started eating right there. And you had some people which were just hoarding seats, just inconsiderate. You know, people want to have a seat to lean on. People want to have a seat for their bag. And it's like, you've got so many people, hundreds of people hanging around there. And people want to sit down and you've got inconsiderate people there hoarding seats. That left 
a bitter taste in my mouth. Far bitter than any oyster or any kinna or any shellfish. So we got another 12 oysters. Heck, why not? <laughs> oh, oh, more oysters. <laughs> more oysters. Not, not enough oysters, first time around. And then we went and got some scallops, and oh goodness, these scallops are the worst scallops I've ever had in my entire life. 13 scallops and a seafood sausage. $40. That's $35. That's 35 dollars uh, Coco says it's because they were undercooked. I'm not sure why, but they, they tasted bad. Uh, <laughs> And this is thirty-five dollars for this little tray of scallops. Oh goodness! The flooring is is a bit odd because it's like gravel. The entire inside of the entire arena is gravel. I'm not sure why this is. I don't know what they do there for the rest of the year. Uh, but it's gravel. <laughs> so uh, make sure you got good footwear. Starting to get full, we just had one final meander around, and we've got crayfish cheese rolls. Ah, let's get a cheese roll. You know, I'm gonna get a couple of crayfish cheese okay. rolls. Just two for five dollars. <laughs> crayfish cheese roll. Mmm, delicious. Well, that was Bluff Oyster Festival 2021. Oh, well, I'm pretty full. And my God, we spent a lot of money on food. <laughs> I don't even know how much. Oh. Oh. Well, that's it for Bluff Wester Festival 2021. You know, the cool thing was I actually got to talk to uh, Dwayne there at the end of the uh, at the end of our stay there, and uh, I was asking him about Spiky Gold Hunter Season Two. Is it going to happen? And he says, hopefully, you know, they're trying to organise it. And um, he says Raymond is skippering another crew, so it could be like two boats, you know, diving for Kenner. Anyway, my final thoughts on uh, this Bluff Oyster Festival is that if you're going to come here, I would say come halfway through. <laughs> because when you, at, the, at the beginning, big, there, big, big line to get in, and then halfway through, um, the lines inside get a bit shorter, you know, because once you get in, big lines to get the food. But the halfway through, people have had something to eat and they're a bit full, they've had enough that's the time to walk in the door but if you do that you risk them selling out of certain items I suppose so if you're not too fussy about what food you get come halfway through but if you come at the beginning be prepared for lots of standing and waiting and long queues and not being able to get a seat
Where are we? We're in the bottom of New Zealand, almost. Cool. Everybody loves this pole. They want to get their picture taken next to the pole. The pole <laughs> is important. <laughs> I really love the pole. Yeah.